Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. I come to you today to tell you that God will be great in your life. Everyone, anyone, wherever you are, think of yourself as the only one that the great God of heaven, the creator, the redeemer, the savior, the healer, that you think of yourself as just the person. And he came from heaven and he comes for you today. Congratulations. A great thing is going to happen to you. Touch of God. The touch of power. The touch of the supernatural. That mountain in your life is moving away. My online brother there, online sister, son, daughter there. Let that word online clear up and let me talk to you face to face. And let me bring the power of heaven and the glory of heaven into your life at this very time. All things are changed in your life. <laughs> Father, we thank you tonight and we bless your name. We know that you are the great God, omnipotent God, eternal God, unchanging God. And we know that you are love because we have learned that God is love. And that love is coming to everyone today. And I pray every mountain will roll away. Impossibilities will become possible. And your power will touch every life tonight in Jesus' name. Confirm your presence in every life. Your power in every life. And confirm great possibilities in every life tonight in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because we know it is done in Jesus' name. We pray anywhere you are, say a great amen. God bless you tonight once again. We have come for his divine touch. I am here for his divine touch. Let the Lord hear you anywhere you are. I am here. For his divine touch, you will not be disappointed in Jesus' name. I bring an important passage of scripture to you tonight. And we find that in Isaiah chapter 6. Reading from verse 5 all through to verse 8. Isaiah chapter 6. Reading from verse 5 then said I woe is me for I am undone because I am a man of unclean lips and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips for mine eyes have seen the king the lord of hosts Tonight, your eyes will see. Your ears will hear at the power of God and the power of heaven touches your life. You will feel, you will have, you will possess, you will see in Jesus' name. Look at verse 6 there. In verse 6, then flew one of the seraphims unto me hold on in verse 5 he spoke here on earth and he said i am i am i am mine eyes while here on earth have seen 
And then he made a declaration. He made a confession on earth. And immediately an angel, a seraphim, was sent from heaven. Your voice on earth will attract attention from heaven even at this time in Jesus' name. I pity the people who come to the presence of God here on earth and they shut their mouths and they close their eyes and they seal their mind and they say nothing. Oh, they say, I am so and so and then God will look at me. If he wants to do anything, let him do. You talk, you ask, you say, you confess, you declare, and as you make the declaration here on earth, heaven will pay attention to you. That's why after he spoke in verse 5, heaven responded, then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongues from up the altar. And then in verse 7, and he laid it upon my mouth. My mouth. He had confessed in verse 5 about my tongue, my lips, my mouth, and heaven responded to what he had confessed. And then he said, that angel, that messenger of heaven, laid the fire and the light coal on my mouth and said, Lo, this has touched thy lips. Heaven sent a messenger, a seraphim, to tell him that this coal of fire from heaven has touched thy lips, thy mouth. Heaven will confirm your miracle. Angels will confirm your miracle. And then he said, and thine iniquity is taken away. Sin will be taken away. Sickness will be taken away. Infirmity will be taken away. All the deficiencies of your life will be taken away. And then said, thy sin is purged. Let me tell you something. When an angel tells a man tells a woman thy sin is purged there's no doubt anymore he'll not be wondering am i forgiven am i not forgiven when an angel from heaven says all your sin and the consequences of sin sickness disease infirmity an angel confirms your sin and the consequences of sin are all taken away there is no doubt in your heart anymore that you are rising up and you are going back home and there is a confirmation and every step you take you'll be remembering that heaven confirmed your miracle today i said today i said today heaven will confirm your miracle and everywhere you go that voice will be ringing salvation is yours your sin is pardoned and then the lord will be reminding you i myself sent the messenger from heaven i've cleared your sin and there is no evidence of sin in your life on earth, in heaven, anywhere, even Satan cannot bring that bag that God has taken away. I am free. I said I am free. And then look at verse 8 there in verse 8. 
and I heard the voice of the Lord he spoke and the Lord heard the Lord speaks and he heard understand he on earth spoke and heaven heard now God is speaking in heaven and he heard is the two-way communication it's not just that you know I talk I pray I ask I confess I declare and then I don't hear anything from there two-way communication when you come to prayer tonight understand prayer is not a one-way traffic you speak heaven will hear amen you declare heaven will hear but that's one way that's one way that's one way traffic and then the other way heaven will speak to your very heart that two-way traffic will complete your miracle tonight in jesus name also i heard the voice of the lord saying whom shall i send and who will go for us remember god sent a seraphim an angel unto him and now god says i've sent the angel it's not the work in you and through you now that the work has been done salvation has come conversion has come transformation has come through you that has received the touch of the lord can you go for me now and then i said here i am send me here i am send me the lord will send you and tonight he'll send you forth peacefully full of peace full of purity full of power full of confidence and no power will be able to stop your journey from today in jesus name i'm looking at that passage tonight and i'm talking to you on divine transformation through the divine touch divine transformation through the divine touch the three things we're looking at number one the convicting frankness of a concerned person the convicting frankness of a concerned person number two the consuming fire for a complete purging the consuming fire for a complete purging number three the confirmed fullness fullness will come into your life there'll be no empty space for the devil to come and fill there's no empty space for anything that is not of god to come in there your heart your soul your spirit your inner man your personality will be filled with the goodness of the lord and the grace of god today in jesus name the confirmed fullness for a consecrated possessor you will possess i said you'll be a possessor possessor of his peace possessor of his purity possessor of his power possessor of salvation amen possessor of holiness and sanctification and possessor and the baptism of the holy ghost in your life in jesus name and that which you possess from heaven you consecrate unto the lord then that new life that eternal life 
that abundant life, that victorious life, that peace, that power, that purity, that possession that you have, you come like Isaiah said, here I am, send me that which you possess tonight, miraculously, you will consecrate to the service of the Lord. Yeah. Number one now, we're looking at the convicting frankness of a concerned person. Look at Isaiah chapter 6 verse 5. Then said I, who is this I? This Isaiah, this is a prophet. He had even been preaching from chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4, and chapter 5. And now, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord lifted up and his train filled the temple. And then I heard the angels of God shouting and saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. And the whole earth is full of his glory and his majesty. When he saw that, he forgot I've been a prophet. I've been a churchman, I've been a preacher, I've been a soul winner, I have been this, I've been that. He forgot all about that and the vision of the glory of God, the vision of the purity of God and the vision of the holiness of God brought out what was in him. And he became sincere and he was frank. You know, as you are there tonight, if you are frank with the Lord, and you are not going to religious history, I am this, I'm a Pharisee, I'm a Sadducee, I'm a Protestant, I'm an Anglican, I am Methodist, I am Catholic, I am Episcopal, I am Orthodox. Forget about that. Today, God wants to give you what is greater than you ever got in your life in jesus name yeah. the man didn't go to any religious history he just said then said i transformation will come to you tonight new power and new strength will come to you tonight if you just come and say as you look at your life you compare, maybe you are a morally good, disciplined person, but then you compare your morals with that of Christ. You compare your behavior with that of Christ. And you compare your conduct, your lifestyle with that of Christ as it is revealed unto us. And then you say, I do not have the presence, the pardon, the peace, the assurance of Christ in me. And you are frank. And you are open. And you are not hypocritical. And you are not hiding behind the name of your church. Whatever good church you are attending. And you say... I say, woe is me, for I am undone. When we get to the judgment hall, in that great beyond, the people who have been proud of their righteousness, self-righteousness, and they have been proud of their so-called religion, the Lord will make you to stand before Christ, beside Christ. He looks at Christ, he says, that is my only beloved begotten son. And then he looks at you, and there's a difference. And you are lower. All that you try to do by yourself, how you try to live by yourself, all the goodness of falling man, falling Adam, you try to demonstrate, it is so far away from 
the righteousness of Christ. And then the Lord will say, you are not like my son. And because of that, over there in the great beyond, that person is rejected. But you know what? If you come to Christ today, and you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ today, he will take your sin, and then he will give you his righteousness. Did you hear me? He will take your sin away. Every form of sin, he will forgive you. He will cleanse you, and then he will give you his righteousness. And then all you are covered with the righteousness of Christ. And then on the judgment day, when you get there, and here you are, the heavenly Father sees God, sees Jesus Christ, and sees righteousness upon him and then he looks at you lo and behold everything that covers you which christ has given you is the righteousness of christ and then you say come on in come on in that place that is prepared for everyone having the righteousness of christ come on in and the heavenly father will make you sit down in the kingdom of god because you possess not your own deficient righteousness but the righteousness of christ that's why i'll be inviting you tonight when i finish the message that you'll come and make a great exchange through a way that self-righteousness that sin that doesn't profit either pharisee or sadducee and then have the righteousness of christ tonight congratulations the lord will make you righteous but he had frank confession and the confession he made convicts us if a prophet will make a confession like that who are you that then will come and say i am this i am that his frankness brings conviction unto you i remember peter when the lord first met him and then he said throw your net there and then he caught a lot of fish he said depart from me i am a sinful man oh lord you see that miracle brought conversion on him if isaiah was frank if peter was frank and here comes zacchaeus zacchaeus said lord half of my goods i give to the poor and if I've taken anything of any man by wrong accusation, I will restore him fourfold. He was frank. And then Jesus said, Today is salvation come to this house. Here comes Paul. He said, I am Paul. I'm not worthy to be called an apostle because i persecuted the church and the lord said and then he said what will you have me do he turned over his life to the lord if saul who became paul was frank how about you where are you coming from who do you think you are that you'll say i am this and that the frankness of Isaiah should bring conviction on everyone. And then he said, I am a man, not that I was now. I am a man. I go to synagogue. I am a man. I even try to preach to other people. I am a man. I even condemn other people that are doing this and doing that. And yet he was frank. And that's what the Lord wants of you, of everyone tonight. And as you come with that frankness, and you say, Lord, I cannot be proud of anything. I know my private life. I know my hidden life. I know my condemned language. I know the language of the world that I speak. 
I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean leaves, and I'm just like them. And I'm surprised that mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of glory. And tonight, when you make that frank confession and say, Lord, no pride, no pump pumping up myself, and there's no loftiness in my life, this is my level, this is where I am, this is what my life is. The Lord will wipe away all those sins in Jesus' name. Tonight, you'll be a new man. Tonight, you'll be a new woman. Tonight, you'll be a new boy, a new girl, and a new child of God in Jesus' name. He was concerned. Concerned about making promises and breaking those promises. I will not talk like that again. I will not go to that place again. I will not touch that thing again. I will not browse that thing again. I will not join those people again. He could not make it. There is no power in man to fulfill all those resolutions. That's why he came and said, I'm concerned that all the promises I've been making, I couldn't fulfill them. And the Lord said, what you couldn't do by yourself, He will do it for you. He will do it in you. And then He said, my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. If my eyes have seen, I want my spirit to experience what I have seen. I want my body to experience what I have seen. That frank confession of his conviction was the beginning of an upward move in his life. And today, at this time, I say today, at this time, what you open your mouth to tell the Lord will be the beginning of an upward journey in your spiritual life in Jesus' name. And so, I'm inviting everyone, somebody who has never been to church, I'm calling on you. Somebody who has never been in a meeting like this, I'm calling upon you. Somebody who has never thought about the application of the vision of Isaiah into his life, I'm calling upon you. Today will be a remarkable day in your life in Jesus' name. Look at Proverbs chapter 28. Reading from verse 13 there, He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. The one who knows his secret life, the one who knows his deficient life, and the one who knows his sinful life, but then is hiding that, and he comes and he says, I'm not going to talk like I say I'm not going to say I'm a man, I'm a woman of unclean leaves. I'm going to pretend. Can you hide anything from God? I said, can you hide anything from God? I say a thought is all holy, through and through. Holy, holy, holy. And he sees everything as in daylight and then he brought everything out and he says i will not hide you will not hide and everything you expose to the lord you say lord i have this the lord will cleanse you your sickness i have this the lord will heal you your infirmity i have this the lord will deliver you and tonight is your night. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, 
but whoso confesses and forsaketh them shall have mercy. I see mercy coming to you there. I said, I see mercy coming to you there. As you do, like I say, and you say, Lord, this is who I am. Immediately, cleansing, transformation, salvation, forgiveness will come to you in Jesus' name. Look at point number two now. The consuming fire for a complete purging. The Lord is ready right now. He will purge you. He will take away any sin that is not of God in your life in Jesus' name. Let me explain. Sin of any type is not of God. Sin, common sin, habitual sin, occasional sin, and society sin is not of God. Whatever is not of God in your life tonight, the Lord will purge away. Yeah. Cancer is not of God. Yeah. Some people say, Pastor, evangelist, preacher, look at my cancer. Are you holding on to it? Well, you're accepting it. It is not mine. I said it is not mine. Some people, they give testimony, they say, Church, friends, praise the Lord. My diabetes has been now with me for 10 years. And now, we're neighbors obliged to live with my diabetes. Diabetes is not mine. Cough is not mine. And pandemic is not mine. Plague is not mine. You know, when I make that confession, and thousands of people, they say amen for me, that's why I'm going stronger and stronger. Instead of saying it for themselves, and they should say, Cancer is not mine. <laughs> Tuberculosis is not mine. The yokes of the devil, not mine. Evil spirit, not mine. The Lord will purge away from your life. Number one, he'll purge away all your sin. Number two, he'll purge away every sickness in your life in Jesus' name. And then every suffering, Satan sneaks into somebody's life. And then before he goes, he puts suffering there put suffering on the child and put suffering on the husband and put suffering on the wife or put suffering on any member of the family so that all the money you have gathered together all these many years you spent everything on sickness and suffering tonight the Lord will purge away will take away all that suffering in your life in Jesus name failure is not mine defeat is not mine premature death is not mine heaven is saying amen to what you are saying the angels are saying amen to what you are saying Untimely death will not claim your life. Those are things that are not of God. And tonight, anything that is not of God, the fire of heaven will come. Will purge and clear everything away from your life in Jesus' name. That's why Jesus said from the mouth 
passed on to the mouth of John the Baptist. And he says, he will burn the child with unquenchable fire. Child, child, occupying space in your body, occupying space in your life, occupying space in your family. Fire! Somebody shout, fire! fire. Unquenchable fire of the Holy Ghost will come in your life tonight and burn away everything. Yeah. Then I flew. One of the seraphims unto me, having a life goal in his hand, which he had taken of the tongues from off the altar. Look at verse 7. And he laid it upon my mouth. And he laid it upon my mouth. You are the man. You are the woman that the fire that burns every child you are the man you are the woman anywhere you are today and you are hearing this direct ministration unto you everything of the devil is burnt out of your life in jesus name it says lo this has touched thy lips whose lips thy lips whose leaves and thine iniquity is taken away all of his sins the ones he remembered the ones he didn't remember the angel said the seraphim said everything is bundled together and it says it is taken away yeah. at the east is from the west so as the lord taking our iniquity our sin our transgressions away from us yeah. east west is not talking of east nigeria West Nigeria is talking east very far. You cannot even see the horizon. West very far. You cannot see the horizon. That's how the Lord will take all your sins away, even tonight in Jesus' name. And when your iniquity is taken away, your transgressions taken away, heaven will not remember anymore god will not remember anymore he'll take it away from his remembrance he'll blot it away from everything he has written only the grace of god attached unto you and the forgiveness of god attached unto you and the joy of salvation attached unto you will be your record in heaven in jesus name he will put you tonight and then he says and thy sin purged thy sin purged thy sin Paul, sin and all the consequences of sin will be purged away from your life it, let me let me tell you this i don't know whether you've had it before it says and the son of god who is that the son of god who is that was manifested to destroy all the works of the devil sin sickness suffering infirmity the son of god was manifested to destroy everything out of your life tonight yeah. praise god you're free yeah. i said praise god you're free number one is the convicting frankness of a concerned person number two is the consuming fire 
all your sins, all your iniquity, all your transgression, all your sicknesses consumed tonight and you're purged in Jesus' name. Amen. Number three now. Number three is the confirmed fullness. For a consecrated possessor. Anyone that comes sincerely to the presence of the Lord, you cannot live the way you came. Look at Isaiah, and then in chapter 6, verse 5, I am undone. And then he said, Woe is me. And then he said, I am a man of unclean lips at the beginning when he came and then after that we have that second point verses six and seven that what he confessed the lord sent seraphims from heaven and the coal of fire touched him and now he's told like he's telling you tonight your sin taken away your sin purged and now as you look at him at the end of the passage it's not like he was at the beginning you will not be like you were at the beginning new life new fullness new power new authority now the confirmed fullness can I tell you something? When you come to God with your car, it doesn't feel it only halfway. That's enough. Go. Because its river of mercy is inexhaustible. Its ocean of love is inexhaustible. And all this provision, everything is inexhaustible. So when you come, Lord, I have this need. I need salvation. He'll give you. And you stay there. I need healing. He will give you. I need deliverance. You stay there. He will give you. Because, after all, what He has for you is inexhaustible. Salvation is needed here before we go to heaven. All those in heaven. They're not making use of salvation anymore. They got it before they got there. And so all the salvation available in heaven is for us on earth. And it's for you. I said it's for you. Yeah. Healing. They don't need healing in heaven. Blind eyes opening, deaf ears opening, and that lame rising up and walking. They're perfect over there. The healing that God has is for us here on earth. And so that's why when you come with your cup, it doesn't give you only half of your cup filled because it has fullness. And the fullness is going to be confirmed in your life today. Salvation in full. Peace of God in full. The joy of the Lord in full. Healing in full. Deliverance in full. Power in full. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions Serpents, scorpions will not be walking over your body after this night's meeting. Yeah. And over all the power of the enemy, nothing that is fashioned or formed against you shall prosper. Yeah. You will walk and you will tread on all the serpents and all the evil tonight you're free in jesus name what am i telling you i'm telling you that whatever god does when you come to him with your cup it's not going to say that salvation you can go it's a witch that's healing 
don't go yet that's deliverance don't go yet that is power the power that prevails upon every enemy in your life the fullness of god the lord will give you tonight in jesus name and then when he sends you forth he'll be sending you forth with the fullness of his peace the fullness of his pardon the fullness of his purity the fullness of his power the fullness of authority in your life from tonight in jesus name heaven will register and confirm his goodness in your life also i heard the voice of the lord saying whom shall i send and who will go for us then said i it wasn't uh, you know drawing back anymore it wasn't saying i am not able anymore it wasn't saying i am undone anymore it wasn't saying i'm deficient it wasn't saying that anymore it wasn't saying i am powerless anymore it wasn't saying i cannot confront those people in the village in the town in my place of work i cannot stand i cannot live the christian life i cannot be a standing testimony anymore he said all that fear is gone all that powerlessness is gone he said here i am send me and the lord is sending you for tonight as a person who is free he's sending you here tonight sending you forth as a person who is forgiven is sending you for tonight as a person having the fullness of God in your life and it will happen and when you go here am I send me you will go and you will shine the light of Christ you will go and live for God you will go and you will let your light so shine before men that they will see the goodness of God, your good, and they will glorify your Father who is in heaven. Everywhere you go, joy. Everywhere you go, peace. Everywhere you go, there's a testimony in your mouth everywhere you go you'll be an overcomer in jesus name let me show you this before we round up in luke chapter 10 luke chapter 10 reading from verse 1 in luke chapter 10 reading from verse 1 after these things the lord appointed other 70 also he had appointed 12 that's not enough now he appointed 70 all those 70 people they have gone to heaven and now you are the next person he appoints his hand is now on you his power is now available for you and the Lord is appointing you. And he sent them. Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Here am my Lord. Send me. And he sent them to and to before his face into every city and place whither he himself would come. Look at verse 9. In verse 9, heal the sick. You'll be healed you'll be delivered and then that connection the power of God that healed you you will transfer that message online to your friend to people around you and the message is going to be there and as you take that message and you send and you share the healing that has come to you the salvation that has come to you will come to them in Jesus name wouldn't it be wonderful 
if your friend was sent back to you thank you for that message you sent to me i was down now i'm lifted up i was sick now i am healed i was guilty but now the grace of god has come unto me god will use you to bring a saving grace and healing virtue to other people's lives in jesus name heal the sick that are therein and say unto them the kingdom of god is come nigh unto you verse 17 in verse 17 and the 17 returned again with joy you'll come tomorrow you return here tomorrow and you return with the joy of the lord in jesus name yeah. saying lord even the devils are subject unto us through thy name yeah. amen yeah. in verse 18 and he said unto them i beheld satan as lightning falling fall from heaven as we go save people as we go ransom people as we go pardon people satan will fall like lightning before you yeah. verse 19 in verse 19 behold i give unto your power they came back to the Lord. And because they came back to the Lord, you see, it's that connection, it's that contact that brings greater power, greater peace, greater purity, greater possession in your life. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all over tell me over tell me all the power of the enemy and now because you are a possessor because you are a child of god and nothing shall by any means hurt you nothing somebody shout nothing. nothing shall by any means hurt you look at verse 20 there in verse 20 notwithstanding in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you but rather rejoice because your names a reaching tell me in heaven can you think of the joy of peter james john matthew Bartholomew, all of them christ saying that your name is reaching in heaven can you think of the 70 that heaven recognizes you there's a book of life in heaven and your name is there assurance of salvation as you are there tonight and you come like i say i came and you make a frank confession and you say lord this is how dirty and defiled and sinful i am but i trust in the pardoning grace of god and the purging virtue of the Lamb of God, it will purge you. And when you are pardoned and purged, then your name will be written in the book of life in heaven. Yeah. It will happen now. Yeah. Not only that it can happen, it will happen now. To you as you come you open up you're frank and you tell the lord 
then uh, the blood of Jesus himself will wipe away, wash away all your sins. Yeah. And then uh, the assurance, now you are a child of God. Yeah. And then he'll not just stop there, he saves you, he heals you, he delivers you, and he fills you with total blessing tonight. Yeah. And then you go forth in the strength and the power of the Lord. Ready? Ready? My online brother friend there, sister friend there, are you ready? And everyone in every congregation now, heads bowed and eyes closed. Heads bowed and eyes closed. The Lord has shown us how we have the pardon, the purging, the peace, and then our names written in the book of life in heaven. And it's just to be frank, to tell the Lord, Lord, here I am. As it's about, and eyes are closed, the Lord is sending to you right now and he's saying I want to forgive all your sins give me a chance in your life I want to pardon you for every bad thing you have said every bad thing you have done give me a chance in your life and if you are giving God a chance to save you to pardon you to erase the remembrance of all those evil things you have done, you stand on your feet. God bless you, that's right. You stand on your feet right now. Your want is pardon. You are sincere, like I said. You are frank, like I said. You are open, not secretive. You are open. Like I said, wherever you are, where are you? The Lord is waiting for you. Don't carry the blemish back home. Don't carry the dead defilement back home. That's right. You stand up on your feet and you say, I need the pardon. I need the purging. I need the cleansing. I need the forgiveness. Thank you. God bless you. The Lord is still waiting for you. Don't keep the Lord waiting. Be sincere. Be open. Be frank. And tell the Lord, Oh Lord, here I am. My friend, how long will it take you to make up your mind? What God is calling upon you, what Christ is knocking at your door, and what the promise of heaven is coming to you, why don't you say, this is my moment. This is my time of that cleansing, of that purging, of that pardon. Lord, I come. You are outside, you are inside here, you are over there in the congregation, or you are by yourself. Leave everything you are doing now and give total, complete attention to Christ, your Savior. As you stand, open your mouth and tell the Lord, like Isaiah opened his mouth and told the Lord, tell him how sinful you are. Tell him how dirty you are. Tell him how condemned you are. Tell him your trust in his love, your trust in his mercy. And that he will cleanse you now. 
accept his mercy accept his love accept his pardon whosoever cometh unto me I will in no wise cast out as many as received him to them he gave power to become the sons and the daughters of God even to them that believe on his name tell him Lord, I believe the pardon, the peace, the purging is for me now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Keep on standing. I'll pray for you now. And accept this prayer is for you. And it confirms your pardon your peace, your purging, your salvation. Father, in Jesus' name, Amen. all those who are standing up inside here, outside there, in that congregation, and that person, man, woman, boy, girl, online, standing with the confidence that your pardon, your purge, your sin. Let your salvation come to them now in Jesus' name. Amen. Let the atonement you made for them on the cross of Calvary avail for everyone now in Jesus' name. Amen. Put your peace in their heart. Right? Their names in the book of life. Thank you, Lord, because we know it is done. It is done. And it is confirmed in every heart in Jesus' name. We we'll give the glory to you and your spirit bearing witness with every heart. They are saved. In Jesus' name we pray. I am saved. I am saved. The Lord has confirmed it in your life in Jesus' name. Keep standing. Our cancerous priest. Get to them. In all other locations, this cancelling time now, please get to them outside, inside. Give them the decision slip to fill. And after they fill, you take it back from them and then you give them the converse package. You stood up to give your life to Jesus, please. Keep standing until the Counselor attends to you. And for those uh, online brethren who surrender their lives this night, you will see the link, click it, you will get the form, fill it, and submit back through the same link. Just fill it online. Give us all the details. And we'll be getting to you with materials and with information that will help you to remain in the Christian faith and to grow. And the rest, cancel us, make sure you attend it to somebody. Very quickly, those who are outside, please, let's ensure that Cancer us assigned there at work as to also attend to them. Let us not neglect any. And if they have not come to you, please indicate. And once you finish filling the form, please give it back to the cancerous. And cancerous, when you get the sleep, you Go through it to ensure 
name is properly written, address clear, as well as the phone number is complete, 11 digit. Then you give them the converse letter, the converse package. Let's do that quickly. And the rest, you'll be telling the Lord why you are here. Telling the Lord, you will not pass me by. Why counseling continues. Counsel us, please. Let's be fast in all the halls, as well as outside. All the people that gave their lives to the Lord. Give them the decision slips. And if they can write, give them the Bible to write. They don't have one. And after they finish filling the form, you get it back from them. You look through it to ensure that everything is correctly done. Then you hand the, dish, the converse package to them. outside let us attend to them too and if you are true in the hall where you are please join the brethren outside i see that hall one is true hall two okay we are still on please let's ensure that the detail is well taken and the telephone number, correct. 11 digit. And the address was spelled out. And if you discover that it's in a village where there is no address, let there be a little description, possibly at the back of the card, of the name of the compound, or the popular name, with which that area is called, so it can become easy for us to get to them. And this coming next Sunday, September 5th, will be banquet for all those who gave their lives to the Lord. For us in Enugu Metropolis here, it's going to be here at the campground, at the youth hall, just opposite us there. And for all the region in all the region headquarters, as well as district headquarters, that's local government headquarters, so it can be closer to the people. And when you come, that Sunday 5th, there is a book written by a father in the Lord that you will be given free that will help you to study and to grow. And the people online too, will be getting to you some material that will help you in your newfound faith. And when we finish counseling, please let's remain with the people because very soon the rain of miracle will begin to fall and you'll be bringing them out. So remain with them. How to are we okay? Let's please tidy up quickly. Hall 3. Are we in Hall 3? I don't seem to see any signal there. Please, let's be fast. Hall 4. Hall 4, are we true? Where is the leader of Hall 4? If we are true, please wave your hand and let me see. The group coordinator in charge of Hall 4, if we are true, let me see. Hall 5. Are we true in Hall 5, please? Okay, God bless you. What of Hall 6? Are we true? Okay, God bless you. Hall 7. Are we true in Hall 7? Okay, God bless you. Hall 2. Anybody indicating? Please, let's... Where is the leader of Hall 2? Hall 3. Are we true? It's okay. God bless you. God bless you. 
outside are we all right outside the people outside the leader of the outside group please if we are ready let's know Please stay where they are. Stay where they are. Don't go back. Quiet. Stay where they are. So that as the miracles begin to happen, then we'll be bringing them out to all seats. Now that we are true with counseling, the man of God is coming up to give us miracle prayer. Rise on your feet to receive your miracle. Praise the Lord. Somebody there I said, Praise the Lord! Total freedom. Say it for yourself. It's coming your way. You are going to receive now in Jesus' name. As I pray here, power supernatural torch will come to you there anywhere you are in jesus name are you ready raise up one hand and touch the place where you have the challenge blind eyes will open and see the deaf, the dumb, will hear and speak out. Yeah. Cancer will vanish away. Yeah. Ulcer will vanish away. Yeah. All that swelling will get out of your body. Yeah. The fire from the altar of God will burn every disease every infirmity out of your life right now in jesus name <clears throat> are you ready heaven is ready for you too after the final amen you check up yourself it is done father in the name of Jesus, we come in this name that cannot fail. The name that has power. The name that saves. The name that heals. The name that delivers. And I pray, Lord, for everyone, I pray that the fire of heaven will burn out every chaff every sickness every disease from their bodies in jesus name yeah. healing for everyone yeah. total deliverance for everyone yeah. freedom for everyone yeah. and the power that raised up christ from the dead Penetrate every life right now. Pain, I command you, vanish away. All the diseases in your body, I command, come out in Jesus' name. Blind eyes, be opened in Jesus' name. Tight tongues, be loose in Jesus' name. <laughs> Deaf and dumb, be healed in Jesus' name. <laughs> COVID-19, anywhere, there, the presence of Jesus rebukes you. <laughs> Come out in Jesus' name. Leprosy be healed in Jesus' name. And that urinating, 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 whatever the cause, be healed in Jesus' name. 
prostate be healed in Jesus name Lord now everywhere 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 touch them with a divine touch a healing touch a supernatural touch and confirm the miracle the healing the deliverance everywhere on everyone in Jesus name thank you Lord because I know it is done confirm it in every life in Jesus name I pray it is done I said it is done check up yourself there you'll find your miracle there it is done check up yourself now check up no movement just check yourself whatever you are not able to do do it now the pains are gone the eyes that was bright are being opened begin to check up as you describe the miracle we shall praise the lord then you come to the front of all seats check up check up check up check up because it is done the power has been released you will wish here please rise up and for those online already the power been released and the miracle power has touched you check up it has happened Amen, it has happened. Come out, it has happened. Raise it up, raise it up very well. Raise it up very well. Can you see the crushes over there? It has happened. It has happened. Amen. Check yourself, check yourself. Check up your own miracle wherever you are. It is done. It is done. Check up, check up, check up. This wording is gone. The diabetes have been removed. The crackoma is taken away. Check up. Whatever you are not able to do before, begin to do it now. Check up. Don't be a spectator. Begin to do. And as you discover your own miracle, please come out. Please come out. Come to all seats in front here. Make way for them. Outside. Check up. Outside, check up. It's happening. Power has been released. Put your hand together for Jesus. Check up, check up, check up, check up. Hold one. The power has been released. Miracle has been released. Hold two. Hold three. Check up. Check up yourself and begin to do what you are not able to do before. The Lord has done it. The Lord have done it. Check up and come out. From outside, keep coming, keep coming. Once you receive your own miracle, this wording is gone. Check that pain on your breast, it's gone. Keep coming, God bless you. Come to the front of all seats. Keep coming. Everyone, keep coming as you discard your miracle. Check yourself. The power has been released. The man of God has prayed. Check yourself and receive your miracle. God bless you. Check yourself. Don't be a spectator. Keep coming. Keep coming. Whatever the miracle you receive. Check yourself. The pain, waist pain is gone. Pain on your shoulder is gone. Jam your hand. Check yourself. Look at him there. Look at him there. Check yourself. It's not only the lame. Even you. Headache. Ulcer. Everything is gone. Check yourself. As you discover your miracle, you keep coming. Make way for them. Put your hand together for Jesus. Wonderful. Power has been released. Power has been released. The fire of God are burnt up all the shackles of the enemy. 
Everything the enemy has planted in your life has been taken away. Check yourself and come out. Check yourself and come out. Check yourself. Come to all seats. Our leaders, I hope you are there to interview them. Begin to interview them and get them ready for testimony from all seven. Check yourself. Everywhere. Don't check others. Check yourself. Check yourself. Don't check others. Check yourself. You can't see before. Open your eyes. You begin to see. You are having time for it. It's gone. You are having the habitus is gone. Your problem is gone. Check yourself and begin to do what you are not able to do before. And no miracle is small. Every miracle you receive, come to all seas and let's hear your testimony. Come quickly, come quickly to all seas. Our leaders, please get them interview from all the halls. Make your way to all seas from outside. Please bring them out. Check yourself. Online, the same. As you describe your own testimony, you quickly type and send it. And then we will read it out. Those on the radio, those listening to us over the radio, check yourself too. As you discover, identify and let us know. You can go to the online and send in your testimony. It will be read. Or you come, if you are near, you come down tomorrow morning. Check yourself, check yourself. Power has been released. Please, let's get them ready. And let's ensure that everything is clear before you send them. Check yourself. You are not a spectator. And your problem is not too small. God has taken it away. Is it fever? Is it ulcer? Is it waist pain? Is it pain on your shoulder? Is it eye problem? Just begin to do whatever, whatever you are not able to do before. And you will see the power of God has taught you. Nobody is going now. It's still very early in the day. Check yourself and let's see what God has done for you. You describe the miracle, please come to all seats. Please, let's get them ready. Once you are ready, let me know so that we can start taking the testimonies. Maybe the Lord did your own on Thursday. Come now that you are sure and share your testimony. Maybe the Lord did it yesterday. Come out here. We are waiting for you. Come to all seats. Our leaders, please, are we ready? Shake yourself. Shake yourself and move to all seats. God bless you as you come to all seats. Leaders, please get them, get them, interview them and arrange them, please. Pastors, are we ready? We want to start? Check yourself. You are not an expectator. Thank you. Okay, stress. Thank you. Amen. Check yourself, check yourself. Leaders, are we ready? want to start testimony time now check yourself keep coming to all six front of all six as you describe your miracle make your way to all six
Amen. As we describe your miracle, come out. We want to have the first testifier, please. Let's be fast. We want to have the first person. You go straight, please. Tell us your name and what God did for you. Please, let's keep it. Let's not uh, be, you know, let's not take the time because we have a lot of people. Please arrange, line them up. And the people that came out the other time that were not given, they also can come here. Please, let's take the first person. The first person, your name and what God did for you. Let's go. Praise the Lord. Don't By the grace of God, my name is the Brother David Nwobodo. I come from Nara and in Kano. Praise the Lord. I want to testify what God has done for me. God has been doing a wonderful thing in my life since I gave my life to Jesus. Since 1987, when I gave my life to Jesus, God is good for me. In Liches last year, August, on the last Saturday of August last year, we went for one burial. After when we go to the burial, we return, we go to a workers' meeting. After when I returned from workers' meeting on that Saturday, preparing to go for combined service on that Sunday, last Sunday, reaching in the morning, I just go outside to go and unit around that kind between four and five. I discovered that the torch I kept for, her, for grand, when I, I do finish, I cannot be able to use my hand and pick the torch again. I started wondering, say, what happened? I don't know what happened. I say, in Jesus' name, I force myself, I want to bring the torch in no green. I say, in Jesus' name, and I use the other hand and force the torch and bring it and put for that hand. Praise the Lord! And I, com I, I, I commit, I mean, I told all my pastors, called them on the phone, they started praying for me. Just within Five minutes, I stood up, I begin the walk again. I begin to use myself with my hand again. So, but to my great surprise, around that kind of uh, just a month or so, then when we went to the church, another combined service again. I couldn't be able to go to church since all those days again. But I went to the church on the last uh, month again. After when we don't do prayer, so the brother, prayer we hold that there was the prayer brother, concerning what happened now, our sister's of time. Okay. What do you need? Please, Praise God. the Lord. So I thank God so much today. Even when we are coming for this program, I, I supposed to come day before yesterday or yesterday. But because of condition of money, I no come. But today, by the grace of God, I come. <laughs> So, missing in them are open in them, who can in a boom. I'm a gym when we be a bar. But send a marachi naked. Dicka, oh, you're the chicken is your man, but no, particularly the testimony of that our sister today. It touches me. Then I started getting myself, and by now, by the special grace of God, God has really helped me. I can walk without this stick. So, this stick, I am going to keep it in Jesus' name. I will. You can walk now. Let us see. Walk and let us see. Walk and let us see. Amen. Praise the Lord. You had his testimony that last year is like he was struck and then a strange sickness or like maybe stroke. But since then, to bend down, problem and all that. But he wasn't able to come yesterday, on Thursday and yesterday. But tonight, he came, managed himself. After the prayer of the man of God, you see him free, jumping without walking with walking stick anymore. Your own problem is gone. We take another person, please. Go straight to the testimony, please. Your name and what God did for you. Praise the Lord. My name is Sedesta. I'm from MH District. 
since I was a kid, I have having severe pain in the center of my head. Two nineteen, then I started having eye problem, short sight. So when I came to this crusade, after our pastor Dobev Kumi finished praying, I felt a touch in my body, and when I get home, I when I get home. I examine myself and find that the problem was no more. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. The eye problem and severe headache gone. The eye problem and severe headache gone. Yes. The next person. And when the seventh month was come and the children of Israel were in the city. Okay, you can see he has been tested and is able to read without much problem. The next person, please. Church, praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Sister Kowi Joma. I'm from Suka region. I want to bless the name of the Lord for what he did for me. Since the year 2014, I've been passing through a, a situation that actually I cannot explain. But I want to thank God because as I kept on believing the Lord, even when I was told that I had to go to medical, I have a list of uh, 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 witch doctors, I refused. And I told them that I am a child of God. I will continue to serve God until the Lord will see me through. And during the divine connection, I prayed and believed God that the whole thing will be resolved. It is now seven years. So as the, as the program was going on, the Lord told me precisely that I will be well. Praise the Lord. And then this, this uh, 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 crusade we had, that was yesterday, the divine touch for total freedom. I came, for the yesterday, uh, for, uh, I came yesterday for the crusade. I kept on praying. And, and I was telling the Lord, you said you will, I will be well. I believe you, Father. Praise the Lord. And after the prayer of the man of God, as we went back to the place of our, our rest, in the night, I just saw myself, my mouth was open, and I was vomiting out something. Vomiting out something. Vomiting out something. Praise the Lord. I want to bless the name of the Lord because I know the Lord has healed me even as, as he promised me. And I said, by the Lord who has taken away my sins, May his name be praised in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 But what Thank you, my father. Thank you, my uh, father. Please, may we know what was the problem, the specific... Please, want to know in, what was the problem that she was suffering from, please. Praise the Lord. It is a problem of sin. Yeah. Sin that I cannot really explain now. It's okay. But I kept Put on. Put your alone. hand together for Jesus. The sin problem taken away. Now she is free. The next person, please. Praise the Lord. My name is Martin Jaco. I come from. Uh, from in my state, uh, I wound my teeth. He, he will not allow me to eat. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is my son, and uh, his name is Michael Njoko, and we, we come from our uh, Imo state. That was last week, and uh, he's not getting all right in his feeding. He has soil in his mouth, and uh, he can't eat very well. And uh, yesterday, I was amazing when, after Pastor said, wherever his, he has a pen, and I told him, put your hand where he has a pen. And he put his mouth, his hand is his mouth, and after the ministration, I was amazed saw him eating a plate of rice since he has not been eating. And uh, today I just asked him, Why is your, how did you feel? He says he doesn't have any pains again. I said, Now you go and testify for the Lord. 
and uh, my coming here is my daughter the one uh, the, the second one of it he cannot walk three, since three years now he can't speak three years and i has his picture in my phone and i believe that if the lord has done it for him you also do for the sister praise the lord put your hands together for jesus god is good he has done me well oh my soul God is good. Amen. We now go to online to hear testimony from the online before we come back here. Because as God is working here, He's working also on our brethren online. We have testimonies coming from the online and we begin at the United States of America where Sandy is live from California. Sandy from the United States of America, live. Hi. My name is Nahran Sandra Zaya and I'm from California. I started going to Deeper Life Bible Church since January 2021. Last year, in August 2020, I started getting a lot of pain in my uterus, and I did ultrasound, and the doctors found fibroid tumors in there. And we did an ultrasound in October. They find one fibroid. And then we do follow up again in January 6, 2021. This time they found two fibroid and a cyst. Then I started going deeper life Bible church. And I did my last ultrasound in July 20, uh, July 23. And they found no more tumor, no more fibroids. Everything is gone. Even the cyst is gone and everything. Also, my cholesterol was so high. My LDL cholesterol was at 237 back in January. And then my new results came back. It went down to 129 in July 15, 2021. And that's my testimony. I also used to drink and smoke a lot. And I used to be a bartender. And now I don't smoke or drink. I have no desire. And that's from the mighty Lord of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. And I thank Deeper Life Bible Church so much for everything they've done because they make me believe in faith of Jesus Christ. And that's the only way to be saved if you believe in Jesus Christ. Amen and hallelujah. And thank you, Dr. W. F. Kamai. I love you so much. He's changed my life. This church changed my life. I'm a Syrian Babylonian. I never believed before, and now I do. And I thank Jesus Christ and Dr. W. F. Kamai for all the miracles in my life. Amen. Praise the Lord. We now come back to online here in Enugu, and something spectacular happened at Park Lane Hospital. It began on the 26th on the 26th which was the day the program began as you can see he has been in this position for the past three weeks he has been he, he was being moved from one hospital to another as i mentioned earlier he's presently at Asut Teaching Hospital Park Lane here in Enugu. He's been on oxygen for the past six days, feeding through the feeding tube, unconscious since then. And his brethren connected with the divine torch for total freedom, global crusade, yesterday night. And they joined their hands together 
in prayers. And what you see is what is now happening as we speak right now. He is eating, he has recovered, the oxygen has been removed. God has taken over at the final amen. Something about the final amen. Fully conscious of his environment. His name, Ugu Ifai Chuku. He lives at Onukwe Street here in Enugu. Praise the, Praise Lord. the Lord. And from there, we return again to the online where we have more testimonies this time again from the united states of america selena okwala a nigerian living in the u.s was suffering from tremor tremor is a shaking of the left hand for two years he went to the doctor the doctor told her that what she was suffering from was incurable but as she connected to the program divine as it connected to the program she received a healing and her heart no longer shakes praise the lord hallelujah next we bring you the testimony online of christiana ayivo a woman the testimony says while christiana had an accident was rushed to the hospital there was an x-ray doctor told them that there is no problem just a minor injury but after four weeks her husband decided to go for a review only to discover that the knee was broken so the new doctor quickly referred them to a teaching hospital and now and now as you can see the lord's healing power touched him he is healed after the prayer of the man of god he got up he got up he got up on his own and began to walk without assistance praise the lord hallelujah next we take you to ondo state where we have a 96 year old we have a 96 year old who had been in a critical condition for a very very long time you would see the picture coming on your screen very shortly there he is this baba that you see yesterday gave his life to jesus christ genuinely and this morning he woke up and something happened as you can see he woke up is he joined the family devotion without his walking stick and he testified that he can now work something he couldn't do before yeah, he goes you forward march, the Lord? left to right forward march baba at 96 has received the power touch from the vine put your hands together for jesus as we return to the state overseer now Oh Jesus, Edema, 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 Chineke, Edema, Nesia, Onye Nemema, Edema. Amen. As you are listening to the testimony, be examining yourself because the power has been released. And as you hear others' testimony, just do what you are not able to do before because tonight you are not living here with any problem. Tell your neighbor you will not live here with any problem. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Let's take the next testifier, please. As we get there, tell us your name and what God did for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is 
Evangelist Michael Ifo from Enugu Akwachi. I've been walking and going about preaching the word of God. At the time, I could not get myself in that if I want to speak A, I will speak B. If I want to speak B, I will speak C. But today, the Lord has touched me. Praise the Lord. The Lord touched me now that I recognize what I am saying and I understand what I'm saying. When the man, when the man of God was praying, my hands were shivering. My body was shivering. And later, I could not withhold it. And then I begin to turn around. From turning around, I was able to come out to the auditorium. So I'm praising the Lord for what he has done for me because my brain is now back, not as it was like before. In Jesus' name. Put your hand together for Jesus. Amen. He said he was going about preaching, but he was struck with kind of brain problem. Doesn't understand what he's saying. He wants to say something he will be saying another. But after the prayer of the man of God, he said, my brain returned to me. And your health has returned to you. Whatever you are not able to do before, begin to do it now. The next testifier, please. Praise the Lord. Afa Muchi Nansa Ije Galo. Eshim no Bioma. Webia. So umulem nu muchineke kun sorum kele chineke nye chineke meruni mendom. Amurumwa. Amurumwa. Last year, 2020. Kamu cha di child. The child not two months. So on such a the child are yeah one and one can of them see and the child can joshua can go to the ike hello my bar we go to the chair go boss waiter the counter boss a boss a badom nobu she know about term now for a mosmo womb can battle with the remote womb mana we be done a Jew, Kayan Nejab Catholic Church, Nazim Barawaba Manasim Chineke, Heba Nanaja Catholic Church, Ma Chinek and Aftam, Chinek Catholic Church and Aftam Eba Nanka Badipa Life, We Badipa Life, Nkadina Bioma, Kambareba, Wena Roku Chineke, West Chinek and Ewan Bawa, West Tigna, and here we are, Ewan Sufri. A guy, ma, when I come at the end, we go to the machine. I can already do it. We move them to the machine. We are not just programmer. We are not just the Canada. Now programmer, I can spy the counter. I want to machine. I want to go. We are going to. We are saying, Papa, we are going to do that. We are going to do. We move them. We are going to do that. 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 We have to make a plan. We have to make a plan. We can do it by praise the Lord. Can somebody please explain those who that did the interview? Explain what happened, please. She that was the case of food poisoning. She went to market, I bought buns, and ate it. Since that time, her stomach, her systems began to trouble her. She went places looking for help, and she couldn't be helped. And she came here, and the pastor was ministering. He, I'm praying. She placed her her hands on her stomach, and after the prayers, she's now perfectly okay. Praise the Lord. Put your hand together for Jesus. Amen. The next testifier, please. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! My name is Mrs. Obona Jane. I'm living here in Enugu, just behind New Heaven Secondary School there. My testimony is this. I came back from market this afternoon. 
I met my husband unconscious. He couldn't recognize himself. He couldn't stand. He couldn't walk. Praise the Lord. I found one of our brother in the Lord who came here already. I asked him, please, come back to my house quickly. My husband is dying. The young man rushed to my house. We carried him to the vehicle. We helped him. Two people were holding him to the vehicle. My testimony is this. After prayer of daddy, he was able to stand on his feet. And even as he is now, he can walk without my help. I didn't thank God who has done this thing for me. May the name of the Lord be praised in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for Jesus. The Lord took it away. You can see him walking already. And what God did for him, he has done for you. Check yourself. As you discard your miracle, please come to Hall 6. We are still expecting you. Come and share your own testimony. He did my. He did my. He did my. She naked in my. You are good. You are good. You are good. You are good to my soul. You are good. You are good. Amen. I don't know if we have any testimony from the online or do we continue here? We have testimonies online. We'll take a live testimony from Calabar, where the train of the crusade came from. Hear the testimony live from Calabar. Praise the Lord. Brethren, praise the Lord. I'm so happy to stand here to share my testimony. By the grace of God, I'm Sister Ikai Temon Dubo. I, call my, I am from Federal Housing District, Calabar region. I want to thank God that God healed me during the uh, signs and wonders uh, crusade we had here in Calabar. What happened was that I have been having this ulcer since 1970. Immediately after the war, the thing started. I have been passing through a lot of problems. It's over 50 years now. I've been passing through a lot of problems. I mean, all that that was bleeding. Each time it starts, I will be vomiting blood. But to the glory of God, I have been, I, I, I know I am born again by the grace of God. And I have been praying over it. But during this uh, science and wonders crusade, the thing before that week, I was always having my gestate alongside with me. So every day, I take two bottles of gestate, and it did not stop. Even the very day the crusade started, I was still on gestate. But to the glory of God, after the last amen, I felt a cool hand on my tummy. And I, the thing, I didn't even understand. Now, I went back home. I was still praying, believing God. And then what happened? The following day, I didn't feel the pain. Until after the whole program, I didn't feel the pain. And I said I must test myself before I now give that, this, this testimony. What happened is that before now, I don't eat pepper. I don't, I don't take aspirin. I don't take vitamin C. I don't take anything containing acid. But when after the crusade, I started examining it and taking all the things I never took. And to the glory of God, till today, that problem has been over. So I want to encourage you, whatever is your problem, 
God is ever as you put your trust in him and touch him. It is a divine touch. May the name of the Lord be glorified in the name of Jesus. And now we move from Calabar, South South Nigeria, to Edo State, South South Nigeria as well. Edo State Live. Move from Praise the Lord. We are here in Nepal Life Bible Church. And we have two of our sisters who the Lord have touched after the prayer of the man of God. Praise the Lord. My name is Vero Aigbona. I'm from GRA Group of District Edo State. I want to testify to the goodness of the Lord in my life for what happened for the last crusade. Signs are wonder. I came here with pains. That was the last day of the, of the crusade. As I was having pain, my two daughters were having the same pain. Right, hand, uh, right side of my stomach. The pain was so severe that my daughter was just running on the floor. It, she could not even stand up. But I left her and I came to crusade. After that, they pray. After the last amen, I noticed that my whole pain is going down. I, I, I just praise the name of the Lord. Getting home, I saw that my daughter started walking in the kitchen, started doing everything. I was so happy because she, the pain was so severe. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Esther Womagbe. I'm from GRA Group of Districts, Deeper Life. My testimony goes like this. On Thursday, the first day of this program, as the man of God was praying, he said we should lay our right, we should lay our hands on wherever we are having our challenge. Then there is this side of my rib that used to pay me. I used to have pains there for years, for more than five years. So I laid my hands there. So that night when I got home, I was in a dream. I saw the man of God in a program, in a crusade. So as he came out of his waiting room, he cited me. He walked to me and he started ministry to me. Under the ministration, I fell down. He waited for me to gain my consciousness and he asked me, how about the pains now? I said, I no longer feel the pains. So since yesterday till now, that pain has disappeared. As if the devil is not happy about that. This morning, as I was coming down from my staircase, I missed my step and I fell down. To God be the glory, I am well. Nothing happened to me. May his name be glorified in Jesus' name. And, and next, we bring you a testimony from online. This one from Bornu State, Northeast Nigeria. Her name, Anna Peter. She had been experiencing abdominal pain for three years now but tonight something about that final amen she has received her healing and the pain has disappeared praise the lord peace okoronko online i've been having teary and itchy eyes and after the prayer of the man of god instantaneously she received her healing praise the lord autism autism a condition that affects speech has been taken away by the divine touch the lord did it the lord did it after the prayer of the man of god and they took the child for confirmation and confirmed the therapist said this is not the boy i saw autism is gone praise the lord margaret ruthwa for so long she's been having difficulty in hearing from her right ear right from her youthful days but during the prayers tonight 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 she can clearly hear praise the lord we move to manchester in the united kingdom where edith wrote i got my healing this evening as they will say in Igbo language was having pain in a part of the body even before the prayer the pain was very serious but after the prayer of the man of god 
that pain vanished away. Praise the Lord. And now we have this coming all the way from Edo State also. Sister Jane, she received an instant threefold. Three. One, two, three. Severe ear pain, number one. Source in her mouth, number two. Stomach pain, number three. All vanished after the prayer of the man of God. Praise the Lord. And this one is coming in hot and live. A deaf woman in Iyaba has just begun to speak and to hear. This is happening live as we speak. And we will get the video for you as soon as we receive details. We move to the next. And now we have this all the way from Abuja. Another double full testimony. One, two. She has been having severe pains on her leg all through to her waist. And the doctors checked and prescribed drugs, but all to no avail. But on Thursday, the first night of the program, after the prayer of the man of God, after the prayer of the man of God, the pain disappeared. And the second testimony is coming from her daughter. She had a very painful boil on her armpit. And yesterday, yesterday, just after the prayer of the man of God, the boil disappeared this came live from facebook from the gs uh, facebook page before we move on from uk we have esther waka she wrote praise the lord yesterday i had severe pain in my right waist but after the prayer of the man of god i woke up in plisto region in the uk and found out that the pain has vanished away. Do you remember the GS mentioned also while he was praying? And this is coming from E. Joma all the way from the United States of America. And she says, after the prayer of the man of God, that stomach also disappeared. And Adeshegun Simeon Wilhelm was healed from fever and typhoid in the same breath as the final amen came up praise the lord we now hand over to the state overseer and together for jesus amen divine touch for total how many of us have been touched you have been touched you have been touched and it's going to be permanent in jesus name as the testimony is going on, and you describe your miracle, please come to all seats. We still want to hear you. We have enough time. Want to hear your testimony. Can we please have the next one? Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. I found you in the I know maybe I call up the young machine came here. Iya nemem kita. Oru go how many years? Iya nemem. Man ye bidokwa ma ngogu. Even our HOD ma makaya. Sometimes ye bidok like this. Ama aga ma ma ye nemem. Then oga biya biya bere me bere. Then I will I will be as in real a bit relief. Man anka me muti kanga cha school. Eben na ror. Obia every day on a year munsu. Like if I touch it, meti ako dika ebe on madun were wound. Meti ako ne womb one my friends here. I'm more me fen mm. My heart is fanning me. I see more I should not worry that it will stop. One early morning like that. Ara ha more an abba ne worry fen mm. Kachi for on sick and tetana bed. I was unable to stand up. I started crying. Na boy, I see a biko, a mommy fen mm. My heart, my heart. On a simu guinea me kwan, gino, see a obi mo, a moro me fen mm. On never, 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 kwan, see a biko, or my mommy and my daddy, let them pray for me. Or bokwa and my daddy pray for me. Since that day, rich na, mkana a bogu, as in, a we call ge si bidom, ma bogu. Mana on Thursday, 
Memepe, I went online. So, that day I saw uh, my dad in the law. Obuna, Obia Rugone, Nugu State, and Fuya, Obuna, and I see our dad in the Lord is now in airport. That happiness, I was rejoicing, shouting. Say hi, thank you, Jesus. My dad in the Lord have arrived immediately. That shouting and everything, Odika, Oye, as in, Oye, where the mirror you want are. I was, I was healed. This healing, and see, aha, on my car this night. Okay, let me leave it. Friday, the healing is there. Today, the same healing is there. I can touch my heart. I can cough now. I cannot cough out blood again. I'm now healed. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. She started having some severe pain on the chest. Gone to the hospital. Prayers have been made. Say, so whenever you touch her heart, the chest, severe pain and sometimes he vomits she vomits blood but on wednesday when she opened the facebook to see that her daddy her father in the lord have arrived Enugu, he was so happy he started jumping and rejoicing instantly the pain disappeared the problem was gone since that time till now no more Vomiting abroad, no more chest pain. Just seen on the Facebook, our Father in the Lord has come, and tonight is seated and He has ministered to you. Your problem is gone. So check up as you describe your pro, you know your miracle. Come to all since many are still coming. Join them. Let's listen to the next one. Praise the Lord. My my name is uh, Daniel. I have been have, I just sta I started having epilepsy. Uh, it's it's just like conversion that started from 2016. Then it, after a pre, after a program that I went, the conversion reduced. But it happens like anything that I'm holding in my hands. If I have the shocking, the shock that as I'm holding this mic, it will fall down. And that makes me to be taking the drugs every day. But from Thursday, I didn't take the drugs. I didn't take the drugs on Friday. And I have never had the shocking. Put your hand together for Jesus. I've been suffering from epilepsy since 2016. And also, whenever I hold something, it drop. But after the prayer of man of God on Thursday, we have not taken his drug now. Everything is gone and it's going to be permanent. Brother, it's going to be permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. The next testifier, please. Tonu chineka Evan Bukristano wakwe. Esmani lirijan. Bien. Iva ma chineke mbenu mdu akoloko. Iva ma chineke mbenu mbu. Olu nu na mwe pray. Mubi anodo. Bebji na gide. Ya mwe live koni telu na. Ehe mbi agye kuge wan ehune nosu. No sound shim no kwa ako ma di tena le chineke she na ma chon iwa ifo wa and na di ka ndalu na bo akposa ifo mu mo mchi chineke na di ka ma bu kuna camp ground na so bo ma fu iso kwa na na chi kwa kwa ni ri oso na di ka ga bia ba ni fo ni na mtu na no ga bia na jerebe adi di konye nwai na ni be mo na ekwe ekwe nta bi fa na 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 e ba na ekwe ekwe Ya do give up. Umsa ni tell him ne. Go and live a girl. Oh, ma give them ne ba ha. Ma give them a ji ji ji. Ni konye wa shi na na ime ma shi. Oya bu na ime tu ne ba du ye be kwa si eka. Shi te ni shi mbiara kavira ta. Mbiara ogwe ba. Chichi de kenapa hamta bukem. 
Put your hand together for Jesus. She had hyena swollen by the side that have been there for some time now. And he, he consulted a medical people. They say you need an operation. And she said, How? Oh, how can I go under the knife? And she came here after the prayer of the man of God. The swollen disappear and all the pains are gone. Put your hands together for Jesus. As you discover your own miracle, please join them. Many are still coming out. Join them. We'll take your own testimony. The next person before we go to online. Don't you I'm sister Rebecca Naman. I am crusader. Now, I want to go to the world. We met a baby. I am the deep life. We be here. We are 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 we are here. We are here. We are here. Jesus, we met Mark and him not very much. Or there, because you come as a fool, you come here. So, oh, yeah, we're pretty. I can't take an anarchy and an aha, Jesus. Put your hand together for Jesus. Amen. She lost her husband two years ago. It's after the barrier. She started having some problem around the neck area swollen and as if the thing is breathing. But she came with it to this crusade. After the prayer tonight, the Lord touched that thing. It disappeared. Now, no more problem. Is that your crapping? Jam your hand together for Jesus. We we'll go to online to take some other testimony before we come back live. He said something was two One months does. ago. Wonders are happening online. Remember you heard the choir from Bene Republic. Right there in Bene Republic, a herbalist left the kingdom of Satan and gave his life to Jesus Christ. That is the man. After giving his life to Jesus Christ yesterday, just after the JS ministration, something happened today. What happened? Today. As an evidence of true, genuine conversion, he brought out all his charms and they were destroyed. Look at them, look at them, powerless, useless, all wasted. Praise the Lord! No doubt about it, all other gods are the works of men. The Almighty God is the most powerful. Next is UAE from the United Arab Emirates. We have Sister Fumilola who wrote that she was feeling serious headache. But after the prayer of the man of God tonight, that headache, that severe headache, simply is gone and disappeared. Praise the Lord. And this is coming all the way from Maryland in USA. He says his name is Amen. He has always had this pain as well as a bit of swelling in the left part of the chest for two years. But today, after the prayer of the man of God, divine touch came upon that place and the pain is gone. And next we take you to another great miracle that has happened. And this one is from Lagos. Feishola from Lagos. Badore group wrote, I want to testify to the Lord of how God healed me. She said she had painful swelling in the armpits. Painful and very excruciating. That painful swelling went down. After the prayer of the man of God. It had been there for two weeks. 
it was smelling but after the prayer that spots that swelling simply dried up praise the lord and now we go straight to Bayelsa as emmanuel patani he has been having a kind of sharp pain in his chest for three months but as the lord will have it after the prayer of the man of god the pain in the chest disappeared and now we return to the state's overseer praise the lord Amen. Praise the Lord. Put your hand together for Jesus for what he's doing in our midst. Now we're going to come back live. The next testifier, please, your name and what God did for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, my name is Brother Sylvester Aneke. I'm from Amoj Nike in Nike region, Enugu. So I want to testify of what God did for me in this crusade. Before I come to this crusade, I've been telling God that I want to receive my own miracle in this crusade. So on Thursday, when we came to this crusade, I used to have severe toothache. Each time I'm chewing food and it touch that teeth, I will have sharp pain in that teeth. So, but on Thursday, after the program, I went home. I did not notice that I received a miracle. Until I started to eat, I did not notice the pain again in any of my teeth. So I thank God for what God had done for me. Praise the Lord. Put your hand together for Jesus. Toothache gone. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Chineke, me men mi ye duku. Ekwele ka ngbara kala. Chite na mna agwa chineke oko rute Thursday ai bi ai mbata na puku bembeni. Aga na agwa sa abido cancer. Aso mbiye na me gu wora ka we tuko. O nwere ihe na bi awa na ri gari mbeni. O na ri mma na ri mu nokwu. O cheku me so ka mtuko aka nwa okwu mni a. Na elukoro mbeni o na ri mu. Ewe ekwere kwere kwechere bosha mu. Afo mu asisi chek, chiku chek mu nwo, chek mu nwo. This the thing disappear. All the kwam on Baba Kachin. See na ma ma na ma ha kwa there. So since then, na an me chek mu mshi Thursday my rota on ga the kwam. So rom kele me chineke na Jehovah bo dogu. Amen. Pastor, can we please have an explanation from there? Something was going around her body, itching her as she moves up and down. But when the man of God prayed, the whole thing vanished away, and she's now free. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. The next testifier, please. Praise the Lord. My name is Grace. I am from Albany Group. I'm here to give my testimony how God has. Healing me for my sickness because yesterday I have so much pain. I went to school like that. I went to toilet. My stomach was still turning me. I thank God for. I went to church yesterday. So, at the prayer of the man of God, the pain disappeared. I, I did not feel any pain again. Praise the Lord. Put your hand together for Jesus. The next person, please. Has so many testimony. Please, as you discount your own miracle anywhere in all the halls or outside, come to Hall Six and let's praise God with you. Praise the 
praise the Lord. My name is Sister Blessing. I'm coming from Igbe, the North region. I want to testify the goodness of the Lord in my life. Since I want to thank God for how he delivered me from toothache. Since about getting to two years now, I cannot be able to chew something with my left teeth. But after the prayer of man of God yesterday, I cannot chew something with my left teeth. I want you to praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord! Put your hands together for Jesus. Toothache gone. And I still want to remind you, tomorrow is double portion. We are coming here at 7.30 in the morning. Come with your family members. Come with your friends. Phone all the people you invited who have not come. Let them be here tomorrow.